Okay, so let's see how well you actually understand basic math. And if you have pretty strong basic math skills, this will be a very easy question to answer without the aid of a calculator. All right, so we have this fraction right here, negative four and two thirds. And this fraction is equivalent to one of these fractions over here. So which one is it? Well, let's gonna take a look at our answer choices. So A is negative 14 over three. B is negative nine over three. C is negative 24 over three. And D is negative 10 over three. All right, so if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. And even if you don't know the uh, right answer, go ahead and take a guess. I certainly am not going to penalize you for getting the wrong answer. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, now what we have here is uh, something called a mixed number fraction. And you can write mixed number fractions as an improper fraction. And I'll explain all this terminology here in a second. But uh, this is something that I'm pretty sure all of you learned at one point uh, in your life. But you probably forgot. No big deal. I'll review exactly how to do this. But let's go and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is A, negative 14 over 3. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and A plus, a 100% and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of writing a mixed number fractions as an improper fraction. All right, so let's go and get some of this uh, basic terminology down. I'm talking about mixed numbers, uh, improper fractions. So uh, let's take a look at a couple quick examples before I explain the problem. All right, so there's basically three types of fractions you can have, and I'm just gonna write a few examples right now. And uh, here's uh, our first type. So this is what we call a mixed number fraction. So in mixed number fractions, you have a fraction, then you'll have some sort of whole number or something in front of that fraction, something like three and one half. All right, now when you have the fraction all by itself, like these two examples are right here, uh, what we wanna pay attention to is the numerator and denominator. Now the top number in a fraction is called the numerator, the bottom number is called the denominator. Now when the denominator is larger than the numerator, this is called a proper fraction. And when the uh, numerator is larger than the denominator, like in this particular example, this is an improper fraction. And what we can do is write mixed number fractions as improper fractions and improper fractions as mixed number fractions. This is a critical key basic math skill. And again, I'm pretty sure most of you know how to do this. Now for this particular problem, what could confuse some of you is this negative sign right here. But uh, now that we understand what a mixed number uh, fraction is, a proper fraction and an improper fraction, we can get into uh, how to uh, solve this problem right now. All right, now I did say no calculators, okay? Now, if you did have a calculator, you could just go into your calculator and take a two divided by three, you'll get some sort of decimal, add it to this four, and then kind of match it up uh, right here. So you'll see that uh, 14 divided by three will generate the same decimal as this. And of course we have uh, negative signs, but that's not really going to affect the decimal value, right? So the positive or negative version of, the, of this fraction and this fraction is gonna be the same and the signs will be the same. So negative four and two thirds is equivalent to negative 14 over three. So we, now that we know that this is the right answer, let's suppose you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot this because the last time I saw this was 1979 or something like that. Well, I totally get that because uh, I think I was learning uh, this stuff maybe like 1976, I don't know. But if you haven't seen math or been doing math for uh, you know quite some time, you're going to forget this stuff. So don't feel bad if you got this uh, wrong. So you might be saying to yourself, all right, um, I think it's something like I got to do something with these numbers and then I got to do something with these numbers and you would be on the right track. But what do, you, uh, what do we do, okay? So for the time being, let's just get rid of the negative sign for now, so maybe what we do is take a three, this number, and we add it to this number. So that would be three and four, that's seven, 
and then maybe we're going to take the result of that and add it to 2. So that would be 9 over 3. So because this is negative, maybe this is the right answer. It looks pretty good to me. Unfortunately, that is wrong. But we do have the right idea. We have to do something with these numbers and these numbers, but adding them like the way we did right here is not the right thing. All right, so what about uh, this situation? Maybe we'll multiply. So that'd be three times four, that's 12. And then we'll multiply again, 12 times two, that's 24. So maybe this is 24 over three and this is negative. So maybe this is the right answer. Well, no, that's wrong again, but uh, we are getting a little bit closer. All right, now some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, what you need to do is you need to multiply then add. So, all right, so maybe this is what we do. So three times negative four is negative 12. And then we add two and negative 12 plus two is a negative 10. So this must be equal to negative 10 over three. Uh, so this must be the right answer. Well, unfortunately, that is not right as well. So some of you might be saying, hmm, you know, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you got me really confused here. Please explain what's going on. And I'm gonna do that right now. But uh, the reason why I bring this up is because um, where I go through these kind of different variations of the wrong answers, especially on a multiple choice question. For those of you that have to take math exams still, right? Please don't do this. If you have one hour for your test, don't try to finish, finish it in 10 minutes so you can get to your text messages, right? Like I gotta check my text messages, I gotta do my uh, homework, my other class, or do whatever. Take the full complete time to you know, uh, invest it in your exam. Okay, this is the worst thing you can do because if you go fast, what's gonna happen is you will see your answer. You'll be like, all right, I see my answer. I'm so good, I'm gonna get an A uh, on this and I'm gonna do this test in five minutes and you're gonna circle the, the, the wrong answer because I can guarantee you uh, good math teachers are going to design tests where the other options in the multiple choice uh, exam are going to be the result of taking common or making common errors or doing uh, something with these numbers. So you'll see your answer, but of course it could very likely be wrong. So make sure you use full time. All right, I don't wanna go off on too many tangents here, but again, this is the right answer. All right, so how do we do this? This is not that difficult. And for right now, let's just get rid of this negative sign because uh, this can be confusing. This is a negative number, all right? But what we have to do is deal with this fraction right here first, okay? So we need to look at four and two thirds, write this as an improper fraction, and then put a negative sign in front of it. All right, so what do we need to do? Well, we are going to multiply, okay? So it's gonna be three times four is 12. Then we need to add this number, okay? So it's this is a positive now, three times four, is a positive 12. Again, the, the part here that can confuse some of you is this negative sign, all right? We're not gonna deal with, uh, uh, we're not gonna involve the negative sign when we are converting this mixed number fraction to an impro improper fraction. We'll put this negative sign in at the end, okay? All right, so this is gonna be three times 12 is, uh, I'm sorry, three times four is 12. Then we're gonna take the result of multiplying this and then we're gonna add it to this number, right? So this is gonna be plus two. So three times four is 12 plus two. So this is going to form our numerator and that's gonna be over this number right here, this denominator three. So this is gonna be 14 over three and this is a negative value. So this is negative 14 over three. All right, so one more time here because this is all kind of messy. All right, so what we do when we are converting a mixed number fraction with a negative value, okay? Forget the negative sign. Uh, you know, don't involve it when you're multiplying. That's a common mistake. You're just gonna multiply this number times this number. So three times four is a positive 12 plus this number up in the numerator. So 12 to, uh, plus two is 14 over this denominator is three. And this is a negative value. So you have negative 14 over three. All right, so uh, we have this improper fraction and let's go ahead and convert this improper fraction uh, and get back to this mixed number. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in just one second, but first I need you to do this, and that is to hit that subscribe button. I definitely need your help to continue to grow this channel. Now, I am on a mission to uh, really teach uh, math is to as many people as possible. And I've been doing this stuff for a long, long, long time. 
And it does me no good to know math. I want to teach math to other people because math is one of these topics that a lot of people struggle with. And it doesn't have to be that case. So if you're struggling in math, please don't think to yourself that I'm bad in math. I know it can be frustrating and you might be having a tough time. But what you can't do is continuously think to yourself, there's something wrong with me. Uh, you know, I'm not capable of doing this. That is not the case. All right. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, that's definitely something that can happen. So what you need to do is find some encouragement. And that's what this channel is all about. Someone, you know, in a position of, you know, um, I don't want to say authority, but someone who knows what they're talking about, you know, they can actually tell you, hey, no, you can learn this stuff. And, and really, I'm not patronizing you. I'm not lying to you, but you have to put in the work. OK, so if you're trying to relearn basic math, you just can't skip around, do a little bit here, a little bit there. So for those of you that want to improve your basic math skills or math skills beyond basic math, I have two uh, courses. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video, and then we're going to get back to this prom. The first is my Math Foundations course. This is a little quick review course on basic math, uh, things like fractions, positive and negative numbers, percent, decimals. Now, if you want to take it a step further, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Here I cover basic math, but I get into algebra, geometry, even some trigonometry and some probability and statistics. All right, so let's get back to this problem here. So we have negative 14 uh, thirds, right? And this is improper fraction. So we have four and two thirds. Let me go and write this right here. Four and two thirds. Now this is negative. And this is equal to uh, negative uh, 14 over three. All right, so negative 14 over three. So again, uh, we have a mixed number. And we can write this mixed number as an improper fraction and vice versa. Okay, we can go from an improper fraction to a mixed number fraction. And there's going to be all different sorts of uh, situations where you need to do this. This is a basic uh, math skill. Again, when it comes to this negative value, just leave that off to the side, deal with the positive version of these fractions, and then put the negative sign in front of it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, write this improper fraction, uh, which of course we know the answer as a mixed number as four and two thirds. So how do we do this? Well, this is 14 divided by three. So we have to do some old school division here, which I know all of you out there are excited about. So it's gonna be three or a 14 divided by three. We'll do it this way. And then we have to kind of uh, break out our pencils and papers and be like, all right, so three goes into 14 what? Well, three goes into 14, uh, four, right? So four times three is 12. Now we have to subtract 12 from four, uh, 14, and we get two. Now, can three go into two? No, so we have a remainder of two. But this isn't the way we uh, don't, we don't wanna write our answer for remainder two. So what we're gonna do is take our remainder, that becomes the numerator of our mixed fraction, and then this number becomes the denominator. So this is four and two thirds, and of course we are dealing with a negative value here, so it just that's just going to be negative. All right, now one more a quick um, uh, kind of reminder here for some of you. Uh, this is a very confused uh, situation when it comes to notation. So we have negative 14 over 3, and some people might, uh, again, this type of question, you know, has been, uh, it's pretty common. <laughs> some of you may be thinking, hey, I didn't even think about this, but now I have the actual question. So is this fraction, negative 14 over 3, uh, the same as 14 over a negative 3? Okay, are these the same fractions? Matter of fact, are these two fractions the same as negative 14 over three? In other, way, in other words, uh, what is the right way to write a fraction, like a negative value fraction, if you end up with a negative in the numerator or the negative in uh, the denominator? Well, this is correct. This is a negative divided by a positive. It's a negative value. This is a positive divided by a negative. It's still a negative value. The best way to write these fractions is to be clear about it. Put the negative sign in front of the fraction like this. But if you turn in these fractions to your teacher, uh, they shouldn't bother you. You should get full credit. Uh, but you need to understand that this is the same as this is the same as this. And uh, it's just best to write your fractions in this way to clearly show that negative sign in front of the fraction. Okay, so that is a wrap for this video. Hopefully you got some sort of entertainment or educational value out of this. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.